So this uh, Mississippi State this weekend, um, I mean, is it good in your eyes to be playing a top 10 team um, before you guys hit Big 12 season? Um, I definitely do. I think this is something we've been working on, not even just in the season, but the off season. This is games we work for, and I think this is a good opportunity for not only the upperclassmen, but for the underclassmen to see how every game will be in the Big 12. I know, I think you were here when you guys upset Baylor, number three here. Yep. Um, I mean, do you kind of take that game um, a little bit to kind of see what you guys need to do and what the atmosphere might be like when it comes to Mississippi State this weekend? Yes, definitely. Um, I think um, it's something that we just have to focus on starting from day one. So starting from today in practice, um, I think we all just have to buy in and we all have to trust the game plan, which we always do. But I think this is something that you just have to be, prepared, be well prepared for. And I think that's something that we all are, but I think we can keep going and striving to be better. Emily, Coach Bentley talked about a conversation you guys had in the spring about how maybe you can expand your role and make it more of an impact on the team than you had been. But do you remember that and the details of that and what was that like and what you took out from it? Yeah, for sure. I think we just talked about my first two years and I was kind of disappointed in how I played my first two years. So I really wanted to take a bigger role this year. Um, I feel more mature and you know, I feel like the pace of the game is a lot slower for me. I think that comes with maturity. So. Yeah, we just talked about my role and what my role on the team would be, and um, yeah, just helping the younger kids and you know helping the older kids as well. What kind of impact do you think you've had so far? I mean, last couple of games at least that uh, really started to, like I said, make more of that impact. Yeah, I think just being a spark off the bench. Um, you know, I've been a bench player for my first two years, and I think just being more mature in that role and and coming off and knowing you know that my defense is a little bit better, so. I don't feel the pressure to make my first couple of shots. Um, you know, I can go on defense and play defense and then maybe my shots will come. So I think just being more prepared in my role and just feeling more confident. Coach uh, made it sound like maybe you needed to be pushed uh, a little bit during this off season. Did you feel that way too? Yeah, I think with uh, our new strength coach, Cassandra, um, she really pushed me in the off season to get in shape. I feel like my first two years, I wasn't in the best shape that I could be. So I think that helped with my skills and then my shooting. When it comes to, uh, I mean, right after Mississippi State, you guys played New Orleans. Um, I guess, is it nice to have back-to-back -back games? Um, or would you, uh, is there a different philosophy, I guess, when it comes to back-to-back -back games with you guys? Um, I think it goes as it's any other game. Um, no matter if it's back-to-back -back or if you have a couple days off or a week, I think we still have to come with the mindset that um, it's a game that we still have to prepare for. Um, I don't know much. I don't remember having a game back to back like this, but I know that um, we didn't get to play them last year due to the weather issues. So I think this is a game we just have to come out, especially prepare for Iowa as well. And I mean, is it more challenging to do back to back games because you know you have less time to maybe learn more about the team or anything like that, or is it similar? Um, I think it's a little bit more challenging just for rest. Um, but we have both early games, so I think we can rest and be ready for both. Uh, can any of you guys speak to what Mary has been able to do the last couple of weeks? Uh, Mary has been phenomenal, um, and it, start, it has started in practice. Um, I know the coaches got on her about rebounding, and I think she took that to heart. And I think yesterday was one of her best best rebounding games. Just going out there, she's, she got almost every ball. I know we fought for a couple of balls, <laughs> so I just know like she, she's going out there with the mindset that I have to. That's one way to contribute to the team, and I think that she's doing a really, really good job at it. And then to go back to Emily, what did you have to do to expand your role? Was it just getting in shape more? Was it shooting more? Or yeah, I think um, getting in shape was key, and then really focusing on my defense. Um, you know, I kind of got lost the first few years on defense, and that kind of hindered my playing time. So, you know, just focusing on things I need to improve on, and then my shot comes. Anyone else?